YouTube, what's the deal? It's the big face trucker coming at you. Right now, I'm down here getting brakes put on the trailer. I could have went home, but I figured I'd stay down here. Make sure they get the job done right. Talking to a couple of owner operators down here. Everybody's saying the same thing. But today, yesterday, I got the one, two, three board. And comparing it to the DAC and the one, two, three. One, two, three looks like they beating DAC. So, I just might, I just might get a load Monday. I might get a load Monday. Alright. Everything is good though, right about now. Ugh. Starving. Shining bright. So what do y'all think about these protesters? Well, I was watching the protesting last, yesterday, last night, and it started out great. Started out great until it started getting dark. I guess the ones that was protesting peacefully left. Then came the looters. And uh, it shouldn't have went down like that. But eventually it was gonna happen. You got people that's mad. You got people that's been in that situation and they really don't like the police. I've been in some situations where, you know, police pulled me over, put me in handcuffs, searched my car, Took the handcuffs off, sent me on my way. It's a bad feeling being handcuffed. If you've never been handcuffed, it's a bad feeling. You're at their mercy. A couple of people made some speeches last night on the on the news. Uh, T.I. Killer Mike. The lady mayor and the uh, the lady chief of police. They made some good speeches. I have to give it to them. They really wanted people to go home and don't destroy the city of Atlanta. Well, they did. They knocked all the glass out and all that other stuff and stole stuff. And then they call themselves going up from Atlanta. They went to Buckhead. Did their thing up there. They call in the National Guard. And man, it just went bananas up there. And they probably could still be around. Or they probably come back tonight. They want all the police, all four of them to be charged with murder for George Floyd. Uh, I think so. I think they should be charged. They all was in it. I can't stand this noise. 
damn inverter. But uh, maybe that wasn't the way of doing it, but they, they did their thing. The angry people came out at night. It's it comes with it comes with the territory when when you do protesting, people are pissed, people are peaceful. It comes with it. There's nothing that you can do about that when you protest. You know, unless everybody's on the same page. Uh, it was sad, but at the same time. Like I said, you can't keep bullying a, 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 a race. And if you keep bullying it, they're going to kick back. And, you know, what if it turns to gunplay? People are going to get shot. People are going to get killed, most likely, you know. And they're doing that now. All right. They're not shooting right now, but they were shooting pellet guns at the police. Police were shooting back with uh, rubber bullets. Uh, it can get real, real, real. I mean, off the chain real. But, uh, It just comes with it, man. It just comes with it. Definitely, people, are, black people are getting tired of being harassed like that, being killed. You know, it's been going on for a long time. I mean, when I was a teenager, it's been going on and on. And it's just so many years of this going on it's it's a whole nother new generation now and they don't have a they don't give a fuck you know and it's just I don't know you know what I'm saying I don't know me what side to really I think it's the wrong way of doing it but I see where it's going and I see the anger you know, um, the mayor of Atlanta of of Georgia, uh, she spoke as as she was speaking like a mother, not a mayor. You know, she's speaking like a mother, and uh, she wanted to like, kind of like cry. You know, it brings tears, but you know. What you, you you can't stop it because you know why? Because there's God that's actually uh, down with that terror squad, the the, the, you know, the clan and all that, and they do things uh, because they in power uh, to other people. And there's plenty of times where. <laughs> You could see where a white guy could get arrested, have a gun and everything, and don't get shot down and treated much better. He's living, he goes to jail where a black man will get shot down if he has a gun in his hand. I don't know, I, you know, I kind of like understand the reason why, but at the same time, that needs to change. If anything, uh, I'm hoping other cities have learned from the chief of police. Uh, she knows this shit is happening like that, and she's correcting the problem with Atlanta police. Atlanta police... <laughs> Let me tell you, um, Atlanta police, I would like to speak good about them, 
I, and and but I had situations with with them, you know. It just uh, it's hard to say, you know. One 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 bad cop ruined it for a lot of other cops that are good, you know. I know, you know, some and they're good cops, you know. I worry about my children getting pulled over and getting just harassed like that, you know, put on the side of the road. My daughter's mother was coming from Florida and no, she was in Georgia going down to Savannah and she's got pulled over and my daughter was in the car and the police put her in cuffs just to what? You know what I'm saying? To what? Pulled, took her out the car, put her in cuffs. They made something up. They said her license was suspended. You know, uh, my daughter's mother's got dreads. So, you know, she didn't tell me anything about them searching the car or whatever. But just racially profiled, man. You know, when I heard that, I was like, look, y'all, y'all got to, y'all got to realize, I know, I know we want to go down the road and we feel free and we going on vacation or something like that. But just take it easy on the road. Really be careful. You know, we can't just get in the car and have a happy family going down the road because <laughs> we know it comes to that point. If you're in a nice car, all right, you're going to get pulled over. I was, I can't tell you how many times that I've been pulled over and just, just had no control of the situation. I did what they wanted me to do, but it still turned out fucked up. You know, for one incident, me and my, my cousin, we was going to South Carolina to go visit somebody. And this was a while back. And uh, these undercovers followed us all through Myrtle Beach. And it wasn't like it was anything going on in Myrtle Beach. We was going to see somebody. And they follow us and follow us. We went to a pool hall. We shot some pool, drink some beer. One of the undercovers came over and he was like, hey, can I shoot with y'all? So we shot some pool with him. All right. It was really, we knew something was up. We we had that feeling like this, this guy comes over and shoot pool, you know, and, and just checking us out. You know, we shot pool with him. That ended. We got in the car, all right, and uh, I had my weapon, and I had my papers, had my uh, license, but my weapon was in a case, locked up in the trunk, right? So they followed us, and they followed us until we left, you know, getting ready to leave out of Myrtle Beach because the person wasn't there, Um at that time so we was like fuck it let's go back to Atlanta they followed us and took before we got out pulled us over got us out the car handcuffed us put us put us back put us in the in the in the police car all right searched the shit out of the car couldn't find nothing couldn't find nothing all right now my cousin <clears throat> he does smoke weed from time to time. This is before I even thought about driving a truck. From time to time. And everybody knows that I don't do weed. That, that's one thing I never did in my life. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they found my gun in the case and everything. But that that wasn't the case they found the gun and everything. They asked me about the gun. I showed them my license while I was in cuffs. They took my wallet out, went through my damn wallet, 
Got my license out. Seeing that I had license for the gun, had the receipt, everything. Gun was cleared. So they decide uh, to put the dogs in the car. They put the dogs in the car. And the dog couldn't find nothing until he got to the toolbox where they said that it was traces of marijuana on the tools, on a socket. So they took us to jail, right? They separate us, put in different rooms. And my cousin knows me, you know, separate rooms. And he's trying to get us to rat on each other and the reason why we was coming there and our stories matched. They held us for probably about six hours. All right. My cousin panicked because he didn't know the gun laws. So he thought that, you know, hey, we're going to be in here a while. I said, y'all, no, nah, we ain't going to be in a while, man. It's just the bullshit that we got to deal with. South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina is not a good place to be pulled over. Uh, so, long story short, they was going back and forth. They finally let us out. They took the car and they pulled the car apart. Seats, everything. They pulled the car around to the front. The doors, the door uh, skins to the door was off the car. They self-tappered some of the doors to the door. Uh, the seats was fucked up. Um, everything in his trunk was upside down, turned around and everything. They really fucked us over. So they gave what they do. They gave us a, a, a court date for the marijuana that they smelled on the socket. They didn't find no marijuana. And we had to come back to South Carolina for the court date. Now at that time, I told my cousin, I said, hey, you know, we got a, we got a lawsuit here, you know. We need to, like, do this the right way. My cousin panicked. Because the reason why my cousin panicked is because he's from England. All right? So, anytime you get in trouble with the law or something, you can be deported. So, he panicked. He went and got a lawyer to get himself out of the jam of going back to England without me not knowing. He said he was going to pick me up for court, didn't come and pick me up. So I missed the court date. They kept my gun, all right? So I couldn't come back and get my gun. All right? They threw the case out. He wound up going to court and put it all on me. All right. Since I didn't show, it went all on me. So the the thing that happened is that I couldn't get my gun back. Nice gun. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm just going to leave it there. The hell with it. That's your move. That's your move. In a way, I was mad at him. In a way, I wasn't, all right? He could have talked to me, but he didn't talk to me. You know, we had a good case, but he panicked. So, a couple of months go by and uh, go to find out the same police officers that harassed us and did that to us was under investigation and wind up uh, getting fired because of the shit that they continuously did. Racial profiled black people. That's one incidence.
It's been many, 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 many more that I've been through. Uh, so, you know, you really start saying, you know, fuck, fuck police. You know, you start hating the police because what they do. You know, but there's some nice ones out there. I ran into more bad ones than nice ones. So, you know, it's like this. I deal with police on the way they come at me. If they come fucked up, I know what kind of situation I'm going to be in. I'm already prepared of what I got to go through. You got to see my hands. This is the shit I had to teach my sons. I had things I had to teach my children. You got to let them see your hands. Don't make no sudden moves or nothing like that. You know, and, and it's sad that it's got to be done like that, but it's got to be done like that. Everybody's going to have to be like that. I'm telling you, it's going to get to that point. The bad, the, you know, the, and the protesters, what's going on on the news, they said, you know, the people that was doing the most looting in Atlanta out of all the black people, black people was uh, fucking shit up, but the, the white people was going in there stealing shit. You know, and the most that got arrested was white people. How that happened? You know, how that happened? And I seen plenty of black people doing some fucked up shit, burning fucking cars and jumping on it and destroying and shit. You know, it would have been more. But. It was white and black and and uh, Latino, Spanish out there. You know, everybody was out there because they're tired. They're tired of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel you. What to do? Stand fast. You know. Uh... I never did no protesting. Well, I did do one protest. I went up to D.C. And I was in the Million Man March. And it was a million, over a million people, men there, black men there. Uh, just setting the stage, you know, just... You know, we was tired of it then. You know, and, and, and somehow, you know, it's just going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. You know, how this is all playing out. America is so good right now with this pandemic and this protesting and these killings going on and rates fucked up can't make no money out here it's just so fucked up right now and they saying leadership is fucked up you know Donald Trump is tech tweeting crazy stuff you know and and it's just so fucked up the Democrats are going against the Republicans and Republicans fighting each other. And, you know, it's just so fucked up right now. You know, they open up the states for everybody to get back out here and see if it's going to be another wave of deaths. You know, we all walking around with masks, some of that care. And some that don't give a damn. You know. I keep a mask. I got an N95. Got a couple of them. I keep one, I keep one in each car. You know. 
Because if I got to go up in the store, I got to put it on. That's just what you got to do. Whether it helps or not, put it on. We don't know what's going to help. We don't, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue where this invisible uh, monster it's coming from. But it's killing a lot of people. A lot of people, man. It's over 100,000. You know, just, just, just talking about it, you know what I'm saying? Just talking about it. It's just really crazy of what's going on in the United States now. And, and, you know, the impeachment of the president and, and all that all went down and everything. And then they're saying that this guy knew about it in, in, uh, January and ignored it. You know, it's just... It's facts. I'm only speaking about facts that, you know, that it just comes out and, you know, don't know, you know, was it ignored? Don't know. Don't know. He got, he could have had something else had to do, you know, I don't know how it goes, but we are fucking fucked up right now. Fucked up. It took the fun, it took the fun out of trucking for me. You know, I could have lived with the $2 rate. I could have lived with that. But when it started dropping down to $1.89 out of Atlanta, going to New York, and it's going to be some kickback. Because all this money that they didn't give out, PPP loans and, and uh, This guy's finished two wheels already. He's pretty good. Yeah, he need to come out my way and get paid. But this is a good price spot. But listen, um, it's just it's just messed up, man. I don't even want to get too much deep into it. I uh, and we 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 can't do nothing but flow with it. That's it. I just got to flow with it. And that's all we could do. Stay safe and stay healthy. That's it. The younger generation is going to do what they're going to do. There's nothing we could do about that. And everybody that's going out and buying guns and stuff like that. Yeah, it's crazy. All you need is one gun, really, to protect yourself. But people are buying multiple guns and all type of guns and sniper shit and all that. Like, you know, like it's going to actually be some kind of war here in America. Trust me, other countries are looking at this spot. And they're thinking, how can we move in? Being that there's so much corrupt going on in the United States right now. How can we move in and like take over? Because this is the now is the time because America is weak. We are so separated. So separated right now. They even got to the point where they was burning the flag. You know? There's nothing you can do about that. They are pissed. People are pissed off. Very pissed off in America. And they're willing to go to all extremes. You know? Some is willing to risk their life. Because I done heard people say, yeah, they would risk their life so their grandkids don't have to go through this. You know, ask me if I would risk my life. I would have to. 
I would have to. Uh, else there wouldn't be no reason of me living. I got to do it for my family. I'm pretty sure anybody else would do it for their family. Because, look, man, we got to fight for what's right. That's all. All right? We're not fighting for a wrong cause. We're fighting for what's right, equality. And if we can't get equal, then we have to stir up some shit to make it equal. But I'm too old to be out there in the mix, so it is what it is. That's why you got the youth that's coming up. And when they hit them vote, when they go out and vote, you're going to see something so fucking different. This <laughs> in November, when they go out and vote, when they vote, they're voting now. But when they go out and vote and when we start seeing them numbers, yo, a lot of a lot of people's going to be pissed. A lot of people going to be happy. That's that's plain and simple. And I, me, I don't think Trump is going to be in there. I don't think. I, I just, it's just, it'd be so, if he's in there, if he wins, it'd be something, something went twisted. Something went wrong. Because I really... I might know a few people that's for Trump. And that's, you know, that's that's the way. But I know a lot of people. I can go in this whole parking lot and ask these people in this parking lot, how many of y'all are for Trump? And they'll say no, they're not for him. So what they were saying on the news... And asking and asking these pe these young kids out there, they are not for Trump. So, y'all all know, you know, yeah, he did some things. He did some things, you know. Um, but. This is it for him. I, I I really think it's not. If if it goes down where he's back in, something went wrong. That's all. And some of y'all already know it. Something went wrong. You know, it's not because he's a good president. You know, it, something went wrong. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and as a child, when I was young, I used to hear things about Donald Trump in New York that I was like, who is this guy when he was young? And he, it was nothing good when he was a young man. So, you know, it's like, wow. Richest man in the world president. One of the riches, you know, one of the riches. Uh, what? This is what it is, you know. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't know what would have been like if... Uh, if Hillary would have got in. Don't know. You know, and then you got Joe Biden. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Just don't know. 
it was up to me, Dave Chappelle should be president. <laughs> <coughs> Put Dave Chappelle up in there. And we'll be laughing. You know. Mm -hmm. But. What do you do? What do you do? It's trucking. No, it's not. It's poli politics right there. So I just wait. I wonder how how much more he got, man. It looks like I'm pretty sure he's done with the rear or the rear tires are on already. But shit. Doing them rear brakes is not I mean doing the trailer brakes. Doing these brakes, these guys knock this shit out real quick. You know, <clears throat> it's not like it's uh, it's not like it's a hard job. This guy had the tools. I mean, he done two wheels already, and less than. 40 minutes, 45. He's about to do the other two wheels and then I'll be out of here. It didn't make sense for me to even go home. So I just stayed here. I was going to play around with the one, two, three board. But I guess I got all day to do that. Trail is going to be done. I think the truck could use an oil change. I usually go to the dealer and get that done. <laughs> Filters and all that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I should do my own filters. <laughs> or uh, go to this place and watch them do it. You know, this is a pretty good place. This is Cram. Cram on Moreland Avenue in uh, Atlanta. Uh, 65 dollars per wheel. The shoes ran me 59. So 400, 400 and some change. Do the wheel, do the do the brakes on the trailer. And my brakes were so low that I could have been put out of service. So that I have to watch out for. I guess uh, every two years, brakes need to be done. Next, when I do the brakes, I'm going to have to buy drums. So, you know, that's going to be on the next movement. Two years from now, buy the drums. And uh, get ready, you know, get just get ready and be ready. Um, I need a spare. I should buy a spare. Get a used tire and put the spare on there. Mm -hmm. That spare helped me out. So... That's just my video for the day, man. Uh, I'm going to walk around here and go look at these brakes. See how far and see his method of doing it. I'll probably do another video and let y'all see him do his style. But yo, this is the big face trucker. Just speaking on, speaking on. Making a video. I'm in the truck. My refrigerator is getting real cold. So. I guess I'll stop off. And. Put some food up in here. Get it ready. I'm waiting on my mattress. 
and my LED lights for the inside. And I need to install my uh, inverter in here. And uh, I'm looking for another TV to put in here, a smart TV. And then go make some money. You know, make that money back, man. Add all this stuff up. Go out there, pull a load, a couple of loads. Put some money in the account. Keep doing it. Uh, I'm definitely tired of being home. So. I see a lot of loads, man, for four. For Saturday, it's a lot of loads out here. Uh, let's see. And I'll probably make a phone call. Because they small business news. SFI do or die but yo look I gotta go so I'm gonna holla at y'all in the next probably another 20-30 minutes make another video check out these rear brakes y'all hold it down big face trucker peace I appreciate y'all coming through here if you watch it all the way to the end I didn't mean to waste your time but uh just checking in and I'll holla at y'all peace be safe and stay healthy